Everybody was expecting Freya to be in this deck of fates. Now it says here during this event, you'll be able to collect gear from the Slayer set. That's pretty nice as well. I'm, ho I'm hoping to get some jewelry as well as 200 hammer points. 15. So basically, we, we know how this works. You can get all of this extra stuff. From what I remember looking at the news, in order to get points, you need to summon champions or upgrade champions to complete the deck of fates. Now, I think I'm going to do what I can to go for this because I really want Slayer gear. Again, people were expecting that they would be able to double or triple dip or whatever you want to say, that they would be able to do Thor and Freya at the same time, no orgy. I think this kind of helps us to, again, understand the beast that Polarium is, that we should never just expect anything. Nothing has been 100% confirmed, right? Just because a lot of CCs are talking about it and sharing their expectations and, and wants, doesn't necessarily mean that is what is going to happen unless we hear it straight from Polarium's mouth. And even then I'm kind of, you know, on the edge. It's it's more reliable to hear it from Polarium, but I was I still would only trust that word like 96, 98%. Some part of me always feels like sometimes they just might backpedal or they might change the wording, articulate it in a way where they don't have to hold um, liability for it and they could just adjust things or say oh this is not how things were intended we're going to readjust it accordingly but we have a few things here this post here again everybody's up in arms about it i understand and i wanted to go over it to the people complaining people saying no freya someone saying there's freya tomorrow someone saying what if someone saying the freya deck is still happening so what's going on to the people biatching about Freya not being in the deck of fate. You gambled, you lost, deal with it. You obviously knew that Freya may not be part of this deck of fate event. No one ever confirmed that she will be. And yet you skipped some of the summoning events in hopes that you will be able to double dip for both Freya and Thor's soul. If you were right, it would be a huge win for you. And everybody who didn't risk it would come out worse. But those who played it safe and were right this time, as it was for most people, I guess, Better to do the previous summoning events and skip this one. So you under so you may understand now why biatching about it doesn't make sense. You made a decision that was based on a gamble. You lost that gamble, move on. Also, more time to gain resources for Freya for everyone. All right, so a couple things here. I understand where he's coming from, right? It's one of those, hey, you know what? You 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 played with you put you're playing with fire. You kind of just got to take the burn and, and move on with your life and not sit here and wallow in the pain. I can understand that because I'm the same way. You know, so something bad happens in life. It happens, uh, you know, depending on the situation, I don't want to diminish, you know, anybody's situations. But for me, it's kind of like something bad happens. Like, I don't know, I got scammed when I was overseas. But it was just like, I, I took it on the chin, complained about it for 15 minutes, and then I moved on with my life. It's one of those learning lessons, right? You get scammed, you move on, you become a better man or woman or um, etc. From someone who did not have any shards to do Deck of Fate regardless, this is a poverty mindset and players should not be maliciously kept in the dark over events in a fucking video game, Lamau. I can understand this, 100% Rake Leifer, I'm, I'm right there with you. Poverty mindset, I can see that. Um, well, I'm not sure. I don't. I, I probably don't understand completely what poverty mindset, what he means by poverty mindset. I don't think there's anything wrong with this mindset. I think it's it's one of those tough cookie situations. You, you just gotta swallow it sometimes. I understand that. But again, I don't necessarily agree with him talking down to a lot of people because he is right. We were kept in the dark. We were not informed. Again, the other side of that is, hey, we already know how Polarium operates. We know that they didn't confirm something. There's always fine print, but that still doesn't take away from the fact that, especially if you're a newer player and you're one of the people who watches raid content creators on YouTube, which again, I would remind you, take whatever we say with a grain of salt, even if everybody's saying it, because oftentimes we're wrong, or not oftentimes, at least me, I'm, I'm wrong all the time, but I'm always letting you guys know, hey, don't, don't trust me completely, right? Think for yourselves. To the people biatching about people biatching about Freya not being in the deck of fate, relax. True, relax. You know, let people <laughs> you know, let people deal with and cope how they want to cope. You know what I mean? If it's not bothering you directly, just turn an turn an eye to or turn a what's the called turn turn away from it, right? If you don't like a YouTube content creator, if you don't like a YouTube video, or if you don't like X, Y, and Z, just don't interact with it. If you don't like the game, don't play it, right? 
you can choose whether or not you want to be in it or not. Agreed. People biatching about people biatching is the ultimate irony. This is true. You say that people playing safe were right, but people who went for the summon rush and not the extra event for Thor fusion played safe as well and got screwed over. Moreover, in the Mithrala Soul event announcement, they said there will be a doff, not in this one. Exactly. I'm just frustrated that they put so many Thor points in the damn deck. Probably going to need uh, to clear most of it to get the 100 I need out of it. Very punishing summon events for the soul chase. I agree. Um, my, my thing here is if you're the person who has the four stars for Thor, I'm starting to wonder if it's even worth it finishing out the events for the deck of fates. Or should you just wait for it to show up in the shop? Because I think it's like 300 souls and you I, I completely forgot about this but you can actually convert the coins that you get from iron twins and just convert that into soul essences I, I i've been waiting for soul essences to just pop up to just pop up so that is another option if you don't want to do the entire like if you want to take the last week off that's something that you could consider that's my that's probably what i'm gonna have to end up doing on one of my accounts because i'm tapped the fuck out i'm tired i i need to i need a break i'm gonna take a break for like the next month or something you're not getting just Thor points. You're also getting gear from one of the best nuker sets in the game that's not farmable. I think this is a really good point to make. And this is why I just said I'm probably going to do my best to do what I can in this deck of fate because I really need Slayer accessories. People need to stop looking at rewards as the capstone reward, but all of them in aggregate. People do it for tourneys and events all the time. Oh god, it's 3k energy just to get 50 Thor points. No, it's 3k energy to get 50 Thor points, gems, some energy refunds, soul tokens, and all the gear that you got from farming whatever the event was linked to. If that's not a good deal, then you skip it. It's that easy. And you can make a decision based on that, but you have to make that decision yourself. You need to assess your own account. I don't care about those sets right now. I can spend 20 bucks and get far more from this set than I'll ever get from the event if I buy the Forge Pass, but I may need to burn $100 or more worth of sacreds to get what I actually need. I see where he's coming from. It is not a good deal, but that soul will be very helpful. Okay, all right. So I'm stuck with the bad deal in order to get something that I want. Ah, okay. No, I understand where he's coming from. That's a good point. Um, you know, it, it's like you want to get a burger. Someone, somebody gave a good analogy on one of my other videos for this, um, in regards to something relative to this. It was like you order a burger and you get fries, but like you have to order the fries with the burger if you want the burger. Like it doesn't come separately. So like I understand where he's coming from, Carl the Endowed. Is it one of the best nuker sets? I find it pretty niche as it's only really good on champions with AoEs and decent on double AoE champions, but in my opinion on all nukers, it's considerably worse than Merciless and on 95% of champs, it's still worse than Lethal, Savage, and Instinct. Happy to hear some contrary points because I have lots of good Slayer, but really have only found one good use for Razzlevarg in Hydra, and even then, I bet if I put him in Merciless instead, he would do more damage. I think, um, yeah, I mean, he's got a point, you know, uh, AOE nukers are the ones who are going to benefit the most from Slayer. If not, then you're going to put them in Merciless. Like, I wouldn't put Rotos. I'm not going to put my Rotos in, in Slayer gear. I'd put them in Merc gear, right? Or Lethal, Instinct, Savage, etc. Why are you shitting on random people? Polarium paying kids to White Knight for them? Or what the fuck is going on? <laughs> No, bro. Everyone's been posting complaining about this shit. People always complaining. Get y'all told how it is. Of course people are complaining about Polarium being non-transparent bastards. They locked 200 hammer points in the last Thor fusion summoning event, and then instead of giving us an actual good reward that everyone is saving and stressing about Freya, they make us open shards for gear on this deck of fate. So you had to overcommit if you wanted to have a chance at the 5 star Thor, because they fucked us over in the beginning. If you don't understand why people are so upset about this, then you probably have cognitive deficiency. I biatched, so you're probably referring to me. I said I effed up, and I agree, it was a bet. I spent six shards for a summon rush event on Thor and I had to do the extra summon rush for getting the first Titan points. And at that time we were told you should have thought about the Titan points. Just be much smarter by not buying packs for a while. Yeah, exactly. Your words will fall on deaf ears when it comes to Polarium. But if you don't spend your money, well, here's the thing. Polarium doesn't care about us spending money, right? 
they don't care about the people dropping a hundred dollars or a few hundred dollars here and there no they care about the whales who are spending thousands upon thousands on a monthly basis to play raid they do not care about the great majority of people who are buying gym packs you know what i mean like it's cool but they don't care about it people have every right to complain or be mad doesn't mean that they're entitled to anything but they're correct in feeling like they got fucked over four or five times in a row by polarium you're wasting your energy they literally complain about everything on this sub i learned to find humor in it and just laugh at the ridiculousness of it all only one topic is triggering for me but everything else is funny yeah i mean people are always going to complain no fray in this deck of fates deck of hate they doubled down and gave us a big fuck you to whoever is going for thor's soul and whoever was mad skip the extra summon event and the worst thing is that it involves summoning it starts tomorrow and they surely won't announce this week's summoning event before thursday even uh before thursday evening so people waste shards tomorrow if the leak champ is the next fusion it's an easy skip and saving resources for something better i mean that's a good point right you might as well if you're if you're like me and you're planning to just skip the next fusion anyway then yeah uh, uh, uh this is i think okay if you want to go ahead and just dive in and get Thor's five-star soul. You know what I mean? I skip Ogrins, all but one. Uh, okay, we'll skip that. I decided the last thing I do before taking a break is getting Thor's five soul. Now I play only for those objectives, not caring about saving resources for upcoming champions. Such a relieving feeling, and I'm actually enjoying the game a lot more. I'm in the same boat. I casually play for ages, build a ton of resources. Then if there's a fusion, I'm like, I play like a whale for the event, and then it's fun. That's, that's what I like to do, too. It's crazy because I, and it's honestly my fault because there were a lot of events leading up to Thor that I dove into and uh, had I not, I would probably be a lot less stressed. Not stressed, but I guess a bit on edge and worried that I'm not going to be able to complete Thor's five star, but you know, it is what it is, but I like this. This resonates with me. It's just the game. Remember, it's just the game and you know, there's, there's different ways to play it. You don't have to be on it every single day and trying to do every single event. I fucked up. I skipped 150 points from the second champ chase mile reward, betting on a deck of fates with Freya. Now I have to do it all up the road to 100 points. Polarium, please be more transparent. And I think that's that's all anybody wants. I don't think he fucked up. I think Polarium was relying on people to make that exact decision when they uh, designed d -d 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 when they designed events like this. Polarium doesn't even know how to spell transparent. The Asgard event is going to last for four more weeks. Still space to get Freya. That's not the point. You have to now do two deck of fates if you want both Thor, Soul, and Freya. I'm skipping Freya. I don't think she's that great personally for my account. But, I mean, if you're going to go for both, then, then go for both. But I'm skipping it, so I'm not worried about a second deck of fate, personally. The worst case scenario for me, I guess I'm grabbing the four star Soul and Freya when she comes out. Unless she is training in Souls, which won't really surprise me. I'm out till next year. Same. After this, this is I'm, I'm done till next year, bro. This Titan event is the last straw for me. 24 cards with Slayer, 6 with Hammer, 10 for Lego books, Chaos, some junk. I doubt there's space for Freya in this deck unless she's among the 7 cards and we don't get any junk. I don't get why everybody wants Freya so badly. I mean, guaranteed champs are good to work towards, but am I missing something? She seems like a mid-arena champ. Unique ability can be game changers in the future. I guess. I mean, I've, I've fought some Freyas already and they haven't been all that hard for me to deal with. But then again, I, I'm, I have a jaded point of view, right? I'm targeting the four star soul 175 to go i'm targeting the four star soul i have 175 to go how many points are left let's see there's a breakdown here remaining deck of remaining events the deck of fates there's 200 hammer points left arena 30 points ice golem could be 50 could be a special and maybe it might be 80 dungeon divers 100 uh warm-up event starts friday i guess there's hammer points in that too 100 or 70 points Ice Golem might be 50, but 100 points for a warm-up seems very generous. I have 205 points to go. You know what's going to suck? I feel like I'm going to be right there on the cusp of getting Thor's fifth soul, and I'm going to get shit on. We'll do it for the Slayer gear alone. Fuck Freya. A good Slayer set is much more worth than another Legendary I'm not going to build. Same. Y'all promised. No, they didn't. This says, where is the deck of... Oh, so Polarium responded to... And Polarium, or Raid responded to this uh he says where is the deck of freya's fate we'll have a separate announcement for that stay tuned is it freya or is it an easy skip you're gonna have to find out <laughs> news on freya tomorrow what's this 
Cedric says, Hi, Freya won't be part of the de Adventure Deck of Fate. The Deck of Fate event with Freya will appear in the game later. There's still time. Ah, uh, okay. The community manager said that. There's still time to get ready for it. Would be easy if I knew what the fuck to get ready for. I mean, I can't keep up with all these events. It feels like a full-time job. Yeah, it's a constant barrage. <laughs> this is... This is a d just brutal back-to-back -back events, and and it's a lot of summoning events too, just completely back-to-back. -back. I kind of just want to take a step back and be like, eh. I have zero resources after Thor and CVC. Get that wallet out. As you all know, the upcoming deck of fate is based on summons and champ training. What if Polarium planned on doing a guaranteed fray on your 20th sacred event this weekend? They like to screw people over, they milked every single sacred shard we had in the last months and it would be the most evil genius idea to make people spend more money. Sacreds are most overpriced item in the game and maybe they, they, they don't want people to get Freya using all their shards available. Some people would use their shards tomorrow without knowing a potential summoning event is coming this weekend. That's what I would do if I wanted to milk the player base honestly. Official game news that Freya will be in a deck of fate. They were, they're not going to change their minds. Freya deck is going to happen, probably not too soon. Technically ends in late October, we still have four months. The people paranoid about Polarium always choosing to fuck people over are usually the ones who get fucked over the worst. Look at everybody who did the first summon rush and Thor thinking Polarium would gouge everybody during the bonus one. Those people defied any logic and let their Polarium paranoia beat them. They told themselves that 3000 points for the first summon rush without any 2x or 1 plus 1 was a smart move because Polarium can make it double that for the bonus summon rush. Polarium likes to make money, nobody's denying that, but their approach is far more often than not to entice players to spend with good events, not punish them into spending. They'll give a constant good event that doesn't overlap much so FOMO sets in and you spend for each one. There's exceptions to this, but that's largely the rule they follow. Honestly, so I, I've been looking at my resources and I'm like, you know what, if I just if I just spend a little, this might be a little easier and I might actually finish the Thor event or whatever. But I'm just like, it's such a slippery slope, right? If I even just buy one pack or the Warrior Circle pack, it it just it rolls back into it, right? Because I've, I've been strictly not buying anything, but it's so easy to just fall back into the habit of buying things and raid and like, I'm, I'm done. And I want to stay done, but I, I, I got to tell you, like, I was staring at a pack on my phone the other day. I was like, you know, it just one won't hurt. And that's the problem, right? So I put the phone down. I took a shower. Thought about other things. Well, if you got Thor, his five star Freya and Odin, like strolling in the park, this game would be over. I'm 60 days in. I'm assuming the Asgard divide or whatever it's called isn't just a regular promo, but way bigger. So the idea of it being more challenging doesn't seem out of tune, but I'm tempted to save up 100 sacreds, snag the next tournament hero. I feel silly holding two years from no prob i feel it and i i kind of want to do that do that too like it would be cool if i just saved shards for a really long time and freaking blew it out of the park on a on a champion chase tournament where like the first pr uh, prize first place is some op champion kind of what i want to do i don't understand why people are complaining about anything i've done every single event including winning odin it's not been an issue. Majority of people are whining are the ones who didn't bank enough resources and still want the rewards. He's a beast. Absolutely blasts an arena. He should take a crazy amount of work to obtain. It was a random kind of rant. Uh, okay, so... Freya deck is still happening, apparently, to this person. Navesh Maha Maharaj says, So when is the deck of fate coming? A new fusion is starting next week. Come on, Polarian, for fuck's sake. Hi. Later, there is time to prepare for it. Stay tuned. Nina, community manager. Nobody thinks they just abandoned an event announced forever ago. It's just annoying that this deck of fit. Where's our dog? Where's the Packmaster dog? About to start doesn't include Freya as many assumed it would. Because some people were saying, oh, you know, the Unity Faction champions. Dog. Somebody tell me, do they release new Unity Faction champion? Does it does it coincide with Packmaster? Because somebody was on my ass about it in the comments, like, oh, it's too soon to complain. There's a Unity faction coming, or there could be the Halloween fusion, but I don't think anything's been announced that matches with Packmaster. So do you guys know anything about that? The problem was always that this deck of fate was going to be very low rewards compared to Freya. So in order to get the five star Thor for Soul, uh, Soul for Thor, you need to do an expensive event with low rewards. Of course, they're not going to cancel Freya. That was always a given. The deck of fate for Freya is going to be at the end of the Asgard event, probably right after this coming fusion. They still have a month to add. They want us to spam our shards and wallets. Why are you yelling? I'm never sour. I'm just smoking something much louder. She asked me if I do this every day. I said...